Hi, this is Dr. Rudresh. Welcome to my YouTube channel, Medical Microbiology Guide. Please subscribe and press the bell button for more videos. This session, we will discuss the thick and thin smears for diagnosis of malarial parasites. The glass slides supplied by manufacturers will be having dirt and grease on its surface. They are clean first with the detergent and then with 70% ethyl alcohol. If you are using already clean slimes which were kept for a longer time, then we have to clean it with again with 70% ethyl alcohol and use it. The samples which can be collected for preparation of smears are finger stick blood, fresh EDTA blood, fresh heparin blood. Finger stick blood is a recommended sample. The finger is cleaned with the alcohol, with the help of a, a lancet, prick the pulp of the finger and collect the free flowing blood. The blood should not be milked as milking will cause the squeezing of the tissue fluid which will mix with the blood and dilute it. The alcohol which was used to clean the finger should not contaminate the blood because the Smear can fall off during the staining procedure. Fresh EDTA blood can be used for making the smears. But precautions should be taken. The smears should be made as early as possible with or within one hour of collecting the specimen. This is because if you allow the blood to remain for a longer period, some of the parasitic forms may be distorted. Heparin blood can be used, but EDTA blood is preferred. The thick films can be prepared both from the finger stick blood as well as the EDTA anticoagulatant blood. If you are doing the smear with the finger stick blood, take the free flowing 2 to 3 drops of the blood on the slide. With the help of the corner of an another slide, Using a circular motion, mix the drop and spread over an area of 2 cm. Continue stirring for 30 seconds to prevent the formation of fibrin strand. If you are using an anticoagulated blood, take 2-3 to three drops of blood and spread it over an area of 2 cm. There is no need of stirring as there is no formation of fibrin strands in anticoagulated blood. So take 2 to 3 drops of blood and spread it over an area of 2 cm. Allow the thick smear to air dry in a dust free area and never apply heat. Applying heat will stick the smear onto the slide and it will not be dehemoglobinized when you put it into the distilled water or buffer solution. We can do a quick acetone dip before the dehemoglobinization or before going for staining. Dipping the thick smear twice into the acetone and allowing to air dry will prevent the thick smear falling off during the staining procedure and also it provides a clear background for the thick smear. The dehemoglobinization is done by putting the thick smear into the buffer solution. If the smears are to be stained in a later period, then they should be dehemoglobinized before storing. Advantages of the thick smear are we can detect a parasites as low as 5 to 10 parasites per microliter. We can do quantitation of parasitemia by counting it against the WBCs. We can demonstrate the malarial pigment. We cannot speciate the malarial parasite in thick smear because of distortion of the morphology of the parasitic forms. The thin film is prepared by taking a drop of blood on a clean glass slide. There is an another slide what is called as spreader slide. 
which has a smooth margin at one end. This spreader slide is held at an angle of 30 to 45 degree and it is pushed back so that it will touch the, the drop of blood. Then it is pushed forward to make a thin smear on the slime. A well prepared thin smear should be thick at one end and thin at other. Thin feathered end should be at least 2 cm long and film should occupy the central area of the slide with the free margins on both the sides. If you see a presence of long streamers of blood that indicate that the spreader slide which was used either it was dirty or chipped off. If you see holes in the film then it indicate that the slide was not clean so there was a presence of grease on the slide. After the preparation of the thin film it has to be air dried as quickly as possible. It should never be heated and if the fixation is required then it should be done with the fresh absolute methanol. If you want to store the slides for a longer period then slides should be frozen. The advantages of the thin smear are determination of the species and we can do differential counting. Disadvantage is as we are spreading a small drop of blood on a larger area very less amount of blood is examined and hence there should be a total parasite count of around 200 parasites per microliter to make them visualize in the thin smear. Now I will demonstrate how to do a thin film. A freshly collected blood should be mixed properly with the EDTA and a small drop of it is taken on the clean glass slide. A spreader slide with a smooth edge is kept in front of the drop and then it is dragged backwards so that the blood spreads at the edge of the spreader. Then it is pushed forward to make a thin smear. The smear is air dried and it is labeled. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe and press the bell button for more videos.